Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's episode, I do rear coilovers on this here, here, um, 2008 Pontiac G8. There um, wasn't a lot of talking in this video when I, when I filmed it, and I didn't really explain a lot of, on there. Um, Today, I'm going to be installing um, rear coilovers and a whole bunch of other parts. I got these headers, coilovers. I already did the fronts. The fronts are on, the rear is I ran into a problem. But here, here are the coilovers. Let me show you what the problem was. I went to take it out. And the top bushing on this strut mount, these are, these are brand new ones. This bushing was totally shot. Uh, when I, once I get it out of the car, I can, I can show it. But So I got brand new ones. These are off of a, I don't know, Camaro, 2010, 2011 Camaro. Has the bushing already pressed in, so that was nice. So I got two of those. I'm going to replace those. I got some other parts. Sway bar bushings, rear sway bar bushings. Oh, stabilizer link. I think I, I just got all new stabilizer links. That was probably for the front. And a smaller one from the rear. Like this box here. A little one. I think that's for the rear. Anyway, so that's my plan. I just took measurements off the of the car or where it's sitting right now. I haven't looked it up yet. Measurements I have. Are Driver front 26 and a quarter, passenger front 26 and a quarter. So that's pretty good. Those those are the uh, the front struts that I'm already put it, put in the uh, coilovers. But it's actually a little bit too low, so I might raise it up a little bit. I'm going over speed bumps. I'm scraping, so I don't I don't want the exhaust in or anything like that. So I might raise it up a little bit. And then the driver rear is 25 and a half, passenger rear 25 and three quarters. So that's off a little bit. But that's fine. I when I put the new struts in, I will adjust that. Like maybe I'll just make them 26. I don't know. I'll just go 26 all around. Who yeah. I'll try. Anyway. That's the plan. Uh maybe get this up in the air. Get the wheels off. So there's an adjuster on the coil of right here. It's like, I don't know, 2016 settings, I don't remember. <laughs> um and so this goes in here. Watch this. This would go in here like this, and now you can't adjust it. So they, what they tell you to do is, I don't know where I have to cut it. I have to drill a hole somewhere in this, and then there is a little piece that goes on here. Right, so the extender goes on here. The extender goes on here. There's a little Allen. Some Allen bolts in there. Which would, which would lock it on here, right? And then you have this sticking out of that piece, and you can just turn it from the outside, and you can adjust it. So that's gonna take a little bit extra time, and sway bar lengths, that's gonna take a little bit extra time. So I got a little bit of work for me. Let me uh, lift the car up and start doing it. So if you can see, <coughs> there's a little connector right here, a little flex joint, it's all scraped up. That's hit. I don't know what else. It might be the only thing that's scraped. It's probably the lowest part of the car. Well, this cow converter got flattened. But that wasn't for me. I promise it wasn't for me. Yeah, I think that's, uh, must be where it's hitting on the speed bump. I thought it was the front, but I don't see, hey, like this. Um, it's banged in. Someone lifted the car up right here. No. Same thing over here. No, well, maybe I'll leave the front alone. I don't see any scrapes. Must be just the back scraping. Alright, I'm gonna try to get the spring out, the strut out. I did 
is the bottom bolt out here. Um, I need to take this out here for a control arm so I can lower it down. And not, not much room on the other side. Nope. They have these four here. The control arm can't come down because uh, the sway bar is hard. And these links here are shot. I'm going to drop the sway bar. There's one bolt up over here you can't really see. What do you got? 13, I guess? Three-inch drive. Awesome. Especially for doing this right here. Break it loose. Then Here's a new one. Look at it. Here's the old one. Check this out. Look how easy this moves around. Now the old, the, that's the old one. The new one, I mean, it's, I can't even move it. But I can't move it at all. And it also has uh, flat spots on the, this end, so I, if it gets stuck like that one did, you just uh, put a wrench on it. And the new one also has a place for grease fittings, which I have to go put in. Oh, 
first thing is, figure out which one of these knots do I want to need. I think it's this one. Instructions here, drill an 8.5 millimeter hole. Give your measurements. 25 millimeters this way, 13 this way. as I drill into my leg. Okay, a new 
washer, nut, So the coilovers are done now. Let's see if I can get under here. All right. So there we go. There is the new coilovers installed. You have four bolts on top, a um, couple bolts on the bottom. And what I had to do is I put a new, new uh, stabilizer link. Um, I had to pretty much get this lower, this lower control arm, get this loose, and um, so I can pop pop out the. You, you see that in the video, to pop out the coil spring. Uh, as far as ride height, I'm not quite sure where, where I actually left it. Um, there's not that much wheel gap now. You got like two fingers about. And here's a little bit more. What was happening, I got new headers put on and the headers were scraping. So I raised the front up a tiny bit. But it's about two fingers. This one's a little bit closer. You know what? Let me get tape measure. So we're at driver's side, front, and we're at like 26 and a half, maybe. Uh, passenger side, front. And I checked the air on the tires a little over, well, maybe 26 and three quarter. Back, passenger side, 26, say 26. Right in the middle, and a little under 26. So this size is a little That's the uh, 2008 G8. Um, I didn't show installing the rear coils. I don't know what happened, but it was pretty much the opposite of putting them in. And then uh, after I did all that, I went and got the whole thing aligned. He aligned the rear and the and the front. All right, so anyway, so the adjuster, I believe what you have to do is put the car up in the air, probably take the wheel off, I don't remember. I did this video a long time ago. And uh, up here on the other side of this is the adjuster, right? So you would um, get the wheel out of the way and you'll be able to get, get to it. Well, hopefully this video will help somebody out with installing these coilovers on their G8. It probably applies to other cars too, like GTOs and stuff like that. But I did it on the, on the G8. Uh, the ride is really good. I, I like them. It's, it's smooth, handles really well. So I, I would do them again. All right, well, thank you. Please like and subscribe.